I am doing a fasted cardio workout, or I guess it's not really a cardio workout. I'm starting my workouts back, trying to get back on track. I'm gonna be honest, it's like almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I just recently got out of bed because I've been feeling just kind of down lately and it's just been a struggle. So, I'm like barely, barely, doing it but I'm usually I'd be like oh it's too late but I'm gonna try anyway so here we go this motorhome is gross I need to clean it so what I do is I do a warm-up and it's three to five minutes of jogging but it's way too cold outside right now so I'm just gonna jog in place inside the motorhome you want to do my workout with me come on let's do it jog in place like this so you want to do it with me Mommy hugs me. Well, right now I gotta do my workout and then I can hold you and we can cuddle, but let's do our workout right now. <laughs> Hug me with me. <laughs> okay, come here, come here, come here, get up. I'll hold you for a minute, okay? Run in place, jog in place. It's a lot harder when I'm holding you. Okay, jog in place. Come on. Dad, you want to jog in place with us? Gonna do our workout for the day. Come on. Oh, why? <laughs> Got your hands. Ah. That's pretty flexible. I don't even think I can do that. Whoa. Yeah, Daddy. You can't go to me like that. What? All right. Come here. Then the next thing on my <laughs> workout is high knees, which just kind of hurts my back. But I'm going to do it. Here. Oh, careful. Hey, let's not do that right here, okay? Come over here and do it. There you go. Right. Next part is butt kicks. Kick yourself in the butt like that. You can stand up to do it, Storm. Like this, come on. Good job. Watch out, you're going to kick him in the face. Oh, don't go right behind me. Like, All right, let's learn not to go behind someone. And then the next thing is high kicks like this, okay? Here you go. Three. Here you go, Snow. Kick four, it up. And five, up. Six. No, forward. There you go. That's a good stretch. Uh, I should also do that for 30 seconds. That's all my energy. Our arm circles. So I do this for 30 seconds. And then the last thing is squat jumps. So I, this looks really crooked. Hold on. This motorhome is so disgustingly filthy. This is what happens when you're depressed. Let me just be real. Do you see, like, I don't even take the time to move stuff that's like on it i just stick my little tripod and put stuff on and then obviously you could see the motorhome is just a wreck and my husband doesn't really clean so hoping today i can just work myself out of this little depression funk i'm in and then clean and it'll make me feel a lot better i know that but if anyone else struggles with like depression it's so hard like sometimes to get yourself and like pull yourself out of it and for me honestly like I really just have to feel it <laughs> and like sometimes there's no pulling me out of it I just have to like get through and like ride the way the depression wave does anyone else know what I mean does anyone else have that like I it's hard when people are like oh just like oh you're feeling depressed like are you eating good are you drinking a lot of water are you getting outside and getting exercise like have you ever been depressed before because when you're depressed like you can't even get out of bed. Like it's like, I didn't get out of bed till two o'clock today. Like the last thing I'm thinking about is drinking water, you know? So I get it if you're, if you've ever had that before. Also, this is my skin cancer scar. It's, I think it's healed pretty well. I mean, if you saw what it looked like, it was pretty gnarly. Anyway, you know, it's crazy. Cause like my life can literally go from being like, super motivated and like literally reading every like self-help book and 
journaling and doing like my budget journal and I'm doing like four different courses right now for like, you know, education and, and a calendar like this calendar is not even done. I started it. Like there's so much on my calendar. Like I'm just like so like such a go-getter and so motivated and like and then something can happen where I don't know, it's just like chemicals in my brain do weird stuff and I just don't even want to get out of bed and it sucks and I feel like crying for no reason and it's just like I I've had this since I was little so it's nothing new. I've just learned how to like handle it a little bit better when it does come around and usually like thankfully for me I only get like really bad like depression spells like maybe once a year where it's like really bad um but anyway just thought I'd talk about that a little bit in case there's someone else out there going through it just know you're not alone the good thing about like my depression is that it doesn't last you know forever I'm not like constantly in it um I'm also on a lot of medication so that helps <laughs> fully medicated over here got a whole Ziploc, gallon Ziploc full of pills. Not proud of it by any means, trust me. I hate like relying on pharmaceuticals and I know they're probably horrible for me, but I'm just trying to live my life. You know what I mean? The best I can. Just trying to have the best quality of life while I'm here on this earth. So, all right, what am I supposed to be doing now? Yeah, squat jump. All right. I do my workouts this is what I uh, am going off of so I have a trainer who's like virtual and this is like my workout for the day so that's my main workout but then we also have a let me get back oh come on so he does all my nutrition like all my stuff so we do a warm-up the workout which is this and then this this is helping with my back and then my cool down and then we track my body stats and i'm supposed to be taking a progress picture picture every sunday but i have it and my coach is zach he is from altered fitness in case anyone wants to check him out he's really great i really love him he does a really good job at what he does and he does fitness and nutrition so yep just wanted to share that well we went to a museum yesterday so oh, that's well, I would say you have to clean up your toys before we go anywhere. Oh, mommy. I don't want to, mommy. I don't want to. What do you mean you don't want to? Because I don't want to do it. I don't want to. There, guys. What are you crying about? The toys. Oh, I'm getting so tired. Come here, sweetie. No, there's tons of toys. I said that should use those for like that. Hey guys, be sweet. Please, please. Um, Were you able to use my phone or whatever you need? Yeah. That's good, good. Good job. Get out of your mouth. Don't forget to stay hydrated. 
I know that usually you guys are probably used to seeing perfect houses that are clean. Uh, girls with their hair and makeup done. You know, some days I do it, some days I don't. So this is just real life over here. Mm. I'm doing the best I can. Oh my. Let, let Storm go first. Let Storm go first. I don't have a turn. Hey, honey, you have a turn. Everybody's gonna go. Everybody's gonna go. Can you need that for me, please? Little potty. Little potty, okay. Hmm? Alright. Back to eating healthy. I was not eating breakfast at all. And I was not even eating until like sometimes two or three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so even though it's later, I'm still eating breakfast. Getting my greens in. And hydrated. So when it looks like this outside, I don't know, I'm not very motivated to like do stuff and it kind of makes me sad. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> You helping Mama eat her food? Yeah. Yeah? Is it yummy? Can you eating your greens? Yeah. And it's a little fat. Okay, eat it. Amazing husband rubbing my feet. He does this almost every day. It's my one of my favorite things he does for me. It makes me feel very loved and it feels very nice. Thank you. It's raining outside right now. A gloomy rainy day, but I love the I love the sound of the rain on the motorhome because you can hear it like so well and it sounds so like I don't know, calming and fun. Yeah, it does. I love the sound of the rain on top of the motorhome. You guys hear the rain on the roof? I'm getting ready to take these little nail stickers off and put some new ones on. So I thought I'd show you the before. And this okay. is what I'm going to be putting on my nails. The Dashing Diva nail strips, gel nail strips. They're so cute. So, this is what my gross fingernails look like right now. Oh, 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 o
Yeah, it's definitely working. <laughs> Good job. It is going sweet. Don't don't press it. My beer, my my boobs have it. Is it on? But I don't know how to put them on. I'm almost done making it. I like this one, so I smooth it down, down, down. I'm gonna put it down. So we're getting ready to go to sleep. All camping out on a Friday night in the snowmobile with the rain coming down. Everyone's on their tablets <laughs> reading and then we're gonna get snuggled up and read some books and go to bed. But thanks for being here, thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in tomorrow's vlog because I'm gonna be announcing something pretty love exciting. You. Love you. Snow's blowing kisses. <laughs>